your mind's been wandering around this morning, give it a chance to settle in. Stay with the breath. Breathe in a way that feels nourishing to start out with, and then let, let the breath find its own rhythm. It feels right for the body. Of course, you have to keep on top of it to make sure that you don't get into any unskillful breath patterns or patterns that feel good for a while and then are not so good after a while. This is a problem with our minds. When we were children, we learned certain ways of acting and thinking, and then as we become adults, some of those things still hang on in the mind, and yet they're no longer useful. It's because we don't look carefully at them. So this is what a lot of the meditation is, is get, putting yourself in a place where you can look carefully at what's going on in the body, what's going on in the mind, and see if any old habits are no longer useful, and using some ingenuity and figuring out new habits to take their place. So it requires that you be watchful and well-nourished. If you're not well-nourished, you get tired of this process. So sometimes it just requires being really, really still with the breath. And it's this combination of being still and being watchful. Both these processes help each other along. The more watchful you are about what's going on in the mind, the easier it is to grow, to grow still. And the more stillness you have, then the easier it is to watch the mind. It's simply a matter of which side you're going to be leaning toward at any one time in the practice. Sometimes the emphasis is on the doing, and sometimes it's just on the watching. So have a sense of what you need at any one point. But things start getting confused, okay, just sit there and watch for a while. And when you clearly see that something should be changed or something should be maintained, okay, go ahead and do that. And these two processes help each other along. And John Lee's analogy is of a person walking. You lean a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. But you need both feet in order to walk properly. 